Hello, I'm Sally, I'm from Plush Folly and today I'm going to teach you how to make a range of cosmetics from home. Today I'm going to show you how to make a sugar scrub. We're going to make a pink vanilla sugar scrub. The main ingredient is sugar. This is just regular granulated sugar, but you could use caster sugar or brown sugar instead. I'm going to weigh it into the bowl and I'm going to put in around about 800 grams of sugar. It doesn't have to be exact, you can uh, make this up as you go along. Now any oil will do, the oil is going to help moisturise. I've chosen coconut oil, the other, most of the other oils are golden colour which would have an effect on your final scrub but the coconut oil is clear and I'm going to add around about 60 grams and if I feel by the time I finish that's too greasy I could add more sugar to counteract that. I have some glycerin here, I don't need much glycerin and I'm just going to put in around about 15 to 20 grams. I'll just give that a stir before we add the colour and the smell. And the oil has been absorbed into the sugar, but I think I need a little bit more oil in there. I like my scrub to be slightly more moisturising than that. So if I just pop it back onto the scales, I think another 15 grams of oil will do the trick. And it's quickly being absorbed into the sugar, but that's a much better consistency. But when you're making a scrub, you can change the consistency as you're making it. Let's add our vanilla fragrance oil first of all. I need to add around about four grams, which is most of this little bottle. I like the smell of vanilla, so I want to put a fair amount in, but if you wanted to bring the amount down and only put in two grams, that would be fine. Mm. Sugar and vanilla, I feel that I ought to be eating it, not rubbing it on my body. I've got pink mica here, which is a skin safe colour. And if I add a lot, I'll go very pink. So I'm just going to add the tip of my teaspoon here. Sprinkle it over my sugar. and it's matching the bowl now. Make sure it's evenly distributed through the scrub. Now that looks very tempting. All I need to do now is to put it in its pot. We'll just pop it in the pot. Still looks edible, still smells edible, I can't wait to be using this. But for those of you that prefer an oilier scrub, you can add more oil. For those of you that don't want too much oil floating around on their sugar, I think the proportions I've chosen here are perfect. To use it, I would need to scoop some out into my hand and then rub it over my body and then rinse it off as normal. One of my favorite products. And that's how you make a sugar scrub. <laughs>